Tonight on The Price of Freedom, the story of one World War II veteran who lives in Hamilton County. He fought in World War II and served in Vietnam as well and spent a lot of his life right here in our community. These McDonald, Tennessee roads, the place Cletus Bailey is called home from his first days. Well, for several, several acres under cultivation, and, and of course we had the usual, you know, some cows and pigs and chickens. He called his childhood delightful, at least most of the time. I thought my dad was working me too hard, and, and uh, I lived pretty close to the railroad, and I thought, I'm going to catch one of those freight trains for one day I'm leaving here, I'm, I'm, I ain't never coming back. I'm, I'm talking to myself because I thought I had to work too hard. I got as far as Cleveland, changed my mind, and hitchhiked back home. He had older brothers who served in World War II. Cletus Bailey eventually went to fight in the war as well. He was a replacement soldier with the 84th Infantry Division and joined the fighting just after the Battle of the Bulge. So my friends that didn't make it, I just I hate to think about them. It because uh, they had uh, they had went over the, with the with the division and trained and then just just near the near the end of the war they they lost their lives. Cletus and his two brothers who served in the war all made it back to McDonald safely. The latter part of of, of June of. Uh, 46. That was 76 years ago, and earlier this month, Cletus Bailey got the chance to go back to France thanks to the Best Defense Foundation. And, and when we arrived in, in, the, in Normandy, uh, we always had a, had a police escort, too, so we, we, were, we were treated royally, and uh, I don't think, they, I don't think Queen Elizabeth would have been treated any better. These are pictures from his trip. Cletus says he could not believe the reception they received. It was really exciting, the greetings that, that we received. Each, each place where we went was uh, just tremendous outpouring of, of gratitude, you know. For the, uh, they had welcome our liberators. And uh, that's, that's one place is, uh, probably 20,000 people.